Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So here I want to cover the best way to get insignias in Neverwinter. You need a whopping 20 of them at this point when you have 5 4 slot mounts. And each one costs around 2 million to 3 million. Just insane. So you need ways to offset that cost. How can you get insignias without having to buy them, let's say from the auction house or the Zen market? Well, the best way is through the Reapers challenge, which will give you a daily Reapers mark. Right now we have two because we have the times two seals event. You spend those marks at the store here and you buy those legendary packs. You can also sell the insignias that you obtain from the pack as well. But that's not the only way. You can also do the summer festival. It's a three week event during the summer that the more characters you have, the more pinatas you can obtain. And each pinata has a chance to drop blue insignias. And you can get thousands of these pinatas and thus thousands of these blue insignias resulting in a lot of insignia powder allowing you to upgrade them you also get a ton of refinement and you get some preservation wards as well you will have appointment events like day of the dungeon master harvester of nightmares hell pit which will give you challenge tokens which can also give you legendary insignias those are pretty much the main three ways you'll get insignias alternatively you can get them through trade bars when you have no more need to buy upgrade tokens. So when you don't need mount upgrade tokens and you don't need companion upgrade tokens, you can go and buy epic insignias. But let's move back to the Reapers challenge and some more details on that and tips and tricks and how to get through it easier. And also a way you can skip, let's say, an unsavory selection. The way the Reapers challenge works is that every day there's a rotation. You will have a new dungeon. Generally, you you need 50,000 item level and I covered just yesterday a guide how you can get to 50,000 item level with just about 4.8 million astral diamonds. This is about 48 days of just doing your random queues and refining that rough astral diamonds a maximum of 100,000 every day just here. So well within two months you should get to the point where you can do the reapers challenge every day. Sometimes you'll be able to do it on 30,000 item level, but that's an odd one out. And the exact rotation of the dungeons is here. Right now we have Shores of Turn. I'll show some gameplay of that a little bit later. But we can see tomorrow we'll have Master of the Hunt. And then after that, Many Coins Bank Heist. But if you have a particular one you don't like, like Castle Ravenloft and want to skip it, what you can do is just before daily reset, jump in the dungeon and just don't complete it. Don't complete it until after daily reset and you are then able to obtain the mark from it again. Daily reset, you'll have to figure it out for yourself, but it's generally like five hours, five and a half hours before your event reset time, that's here. Those of you in America might struggle to get up at that time. But that allows you to skip something like Castle Ravenloft, especially when it ends up with the challenge conditions of no deaths. You end up getting reset to the campfire if you die, which can be particularly nasty when you have the hypo effect. But you're also not scaled in the Reaper's challenge, meaning you have the full effect of your hit points and your damage, which also contributes to your healing, which means the more item level you can get, the easier the content will be. So if you can also get people who have lots of item level, it might be easier with them as well. The higher gear levels we get, the more people you'll be able to find with lots of item level and the easier it will be for you to actually complete that. And it's gotten easier and easier since it's been released, which is a good thing, I think, because this is very well worth and rewarding to do. I don't think it should be so limited because if only the toughest people can beat it, then those are the people who already don't really need the rewards. So let's jump into a run of the Reapers challenge for today, where we just have the simple skirmish Shores of Turn. You shouldn't have too much trouble, but you do need 50,000 item level to enter. And this week we get times two seals, so highly recommend you go and do it. I just got together here in a protector's enclave looking for a group channel group and they invited me. We just got to take things a little bit slower than you normally would in the skirmish. You can't exactly like solo everything as it does 
hurt quite a bit. Don't be in those red areas. We do have, as part of the challenge, a damage over time effect. We can't use our daily powers and we can't use consumables. So no like health stones, no scrolls. You are a bit stuck on having to rely on your healer to get you through this. So that's one of the important things. So here I just gotta maintain my divinity, make sure everybody's close enough to me when I use my heal powers, and then it's pretty straightforward. Anytime you go out of combat, you'll easily get your heal resource back nice and quickly. People will get a bit of a heal over time themselves. I don't know what this guy's doing. I think looting. And we just keep up with the group. Oh dear, that guy is dying. I can't use my daily to save him. I just have to rely on this. Give him a shield, give him some heals, and we're perfect. So just kill group by group, and then we're on to the boss which can be a little bit more challenging depending on the group. I remember the first time doing this and uh, man, yikes. We spent like a good half hour trying to beat the boss. It was funny, it was a challenge and it was a bit of fun, but we, uh, yeah, did struggle. But that was when Reapers was new and we were around 60,000 item level. Now we're well above into the 90s. Reaper's challenge has really got power creeped just because of that. It has no scaling, meaning it gets easier and easier, which I'm not saying is a bad thing because it means anybody who does reach the 50,000 item level requirement on most of the queues, there are some which only need 30,000, means that they'll have an easier time. And doing it every day is very incentivized because the rewards are actually useful. They're decent. They're not just like rough AD you'd get on your random queues. They give you a Reaper's Mark, which you can spend on things like insignias, greater shards, mount tokens, trade bars, all that stuff. You just got to be really careful about this guy's fire. It hurts like hell and it can be a bit hard to see. Like I go here, you see the amount of damage we're taking over time. Don't be in the fire. That guy doesn't see the fire and he be dying. It's the biggest, the biggest killer right here. And if you get this on like no deaths allowed, yeah, you're going to struggle here. But that's it. Reaper's challenge over and two marks. That's one of the easier ones and I highly recommend just, just get it done. If you're only just scraping 50,000 item level, you should still be able to get this done. We do have Dungeons and Delvers as well, I believe. So can be worth to use some rerolls. Yes, Dungeon Delvers are still here for another two days and we can hope to get something useful. A goat is useless. I think the masks are pretty useless as well. We can check them since we have to take that one. Let's have a look at the prices here and yeah, they're worth nothing, just cosmetics. So again, just a reminder, get this done. Reaper marks, very useful. One of the best ways to get legendary insignias these days because again, you check your store here and every five days, that's a legendary insignia. And so if you're enjoying the game, it's definitely something I would add to your daily to-do list. And as for the summer festival, well, yeah, you need a ton of characters for that. And I would recommend waiting for when we get 50% off character slots deal. You can buy a bunch of these, level up some characters over time, and you can use them during the summer festival to just get a ton of piñatas, which is some really good rewards. Lots of refinement, lots of event food, and insignias with some sprinkled in preservation wards. Really worth it. So with that said, hopefully this was somewhat insightful. Many of you who are regular viewers probably know about most of this, but I thought I'd put it out in its separate own video so people can look for it and find this if they need to get their insignias up. Special thank you again to all of these channel members for their added support. A happy new year and thank you for watching. I'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.